It's a Hot Wheel 2 pack. It contains the X Wing with open wings, resistance first. And then it's got the first order troop transport. Looks really good. There's the artwork. So it's got the X Wing shooting the troop transporter, first order troop transporter versus resistance X Wing from the first start from new film Star Wars, The Force Awakens. It's got this set from Home Bargains for four pounds or three pounds actually. Pretty look good set. There's the uh, flight navigators. What I'm going to do is compare this X Wing with other X Wings, titaniums, and uh, the black version of this by uh, Hot Wheels as well. And this I can compare with the uh, titanium. So this is the Hot Wheels first order troop transporter, and it's a really nice model. And yeah, it looks really good. I'm going to compare it with the Black Series in a minute, but let's have a good look at this one. So, it's got the Koning Tower again, nice detailing on top, there's the side view, looks great, it's got some paint at the back, the stuff is plastic, this bit's metal, underside is plastic with the flap door which doesn't open, whereas it opens on the titanium. Bit of grey paint there, a bit of light grey paint on the edge of the door. Looks great. Bit of light grey there. Top looks amazing. Let's see if I can get in focus. Looks really good. And then there's a bit of dark grey at the top, at the edge, I, I mean. Lovely detail on this model. So it looks really cool. Comes with a flight navigator, which you can, means you can put it on your finger and it can fly around. Looks great. So, a really nice model. Great detail there. So, let's get the titanium and compare it with that, okay? A better look at the first order troop transport and you can see for die cast titanium series it looks really cool and you know it looks really nice has a military style look to it really nice design and you know this could be from Battlestar Galactica really got four thrusters at the back and some sort of what a great design Let's focus again so this is a really great design looks really nice and this front ramp comes down so the troops can get out pretty cool really nice looking ship this is number 14, which I think this one's worth tracking down because it's a new design from the movie. Looks really nice. There's the stand it comes with. It's pretty cool, doesn't it? Look at it. Nice colour. Nice piece of metal there, die cast. Nice looking ship. Nice panel lines. It's your first order um, troop transporter, which is going to be seen in the new movie. What a great design! Has a sort of aircraft carrier look to it. With the this must be the where the pilots sit. What a nice design. that nice look great looking ship titanium and the hot wheels together just for comparison you can see in terms of sculpting detail they're pretty similar uh, this has got some more panel lines in the middle whereas this has just got a sort of printed piece of 
maybe a piece of paint or a sticker. This has got that lattice work there. This one's got it as well. And that sort of thing there. Maybe a cannon there. It's got it as well. The window on the Coning Tower is painted, whereas this one it's plain. Side to side, so you've got dark grey there, light grey there, some weathering here, which looks really nice. So let's get them off the stand so we can look at them better. Look at the Hot Wheels that's at the front, titanium at the back, and you can just see the lovely detail both models have. You can see that they're more or less the same size, the Hot Wheels is slightly longer, the titanium is more top heavy. It's not sitting flat, it's also taller, the Hot Wheels, I mean titanium, whereas the Hot Wheels is flatter, but the titanium has landing skids, the Hot Wheels doesn't, but both look really great. So here's the side view, so you can see the differences so you can see the landing skids there this has got an opening flap here it's got the sculpting detail inside really nice so that's the titanium and then the Hot Wheels is a lot plainer underneath no detailing or sculpting has two rivets this has three screws doesn't open at all, which is a shame. And then that's that side. That's that side. And then the detailing at the top, really good. And then detailing on this model as well, excellent. So both are really cool models. I really love the design of this ship. This one's got more extended lights there. Whereas here, they're a lot smaller. And back, this has been stylized more, where these are more like, probably more accurate. Good look at what's both models. So this is a sort of visual inspection, so you can see what's similar, what's different as you look along the length of the ship. You can see how much longer the Hot Wheels is. Both are great. It's a really cool design, this model ship. Here this is painted dark grey, whereas here it's just the panel. Both look great though. Another look at the model, you can see the landing skids on the titanium, which the Hot Wheels doesn't really have. Let's see if I can focus again, there. See that the Hot Wheels titanium has uh, dark grey panels there. And it has a wash effect at the end to make out that there's been some sort of action whereas this has got just a bit of dark grey at the bottom okay so that's the hot wheels and titanium both look great here's the front doors of each the titanium one actually opens whereas the hot wheels is just fixed in place the underside so the titanium definitely wins out here much more detailed you can see the engines at the back okay so they both look pretty cool they both look great i think the titanium is the better model but both are excellent I mean, they've both got lovely detail, display really well together, it's really nice. So that's the Hot Wheels and that's the titanium at the back. 
Titanium's a slightly more darker grey, almost the sort of the light spearmint grey, where this is a more light white grey. So they both look really nice together. And the detail is just amazing. So yes, the titanium wins overall, but the uh, Hot Wheels is a good model as well. So both are just excellent. And it's an excellent design of ship. Very sort of not a steep looking ship, more designed to be a functional, you know, like those D Day landing ships. That looks really cool. So both look amazing. Come with stands, obviously, I prefer the titanium stand as it's more sleek looking and more makes it more it's more pleasing to an adult collector whereas the navigator stand is more aimed at children but they both look really amazing don't they so i'm going to give it to the titanium but the hot wheels is just really nice as well both are great models yeah so they just look amazing together so uh, the titanium wins and is the better model but it costs more and is n not really available anymore unless you go on eBay whereas the Hot Wheels is still, you can still pick it up in shops like you can still pick it up at a place like Home Bargains for, t works out at £2 and then the titanium you'd have to go on eBay, you'd probably, you'd probably get it for about a fiver now both look amazing so you've got lovely detail there both just look amazing look really good here's the titanium and hot wheels one last look and they both look really great and you can see all the detail both just look amazing so, both look really good. So, that's the both versions Hot Wheels and Titanium. Titanium wins, but Hot Wheels is pretty decent as well. Okay, so both are great models and both look really cool. Alright, so cheers, bye. This is one of my favourite pieces. This is number 14, it's the first order troop transporter. I just think it looks amazing. I just like the design really. It's not an elegant design, it's just very functional. Just looks great. It's got the flap down, landing flap, which opens and closes. It's a bit top heavy because this bit's plastic, this is all metal. But it has a really nice design to it. I just love all the panel lines and stuff like that. It just looks amazing. And yeah, just looks really good. It can't really sit on the landing skids it's because of the top heaviness. But you know, it looks really good. You can close the flap. This one I highly recommend. It's one of the newer ships and one that they haven't really skipped on the m amount of metal they've put onto it, into it. That and the first order Star Destroyer. This one just looks really good. I love the design. Highly recommend this one. Okay, so cheers. Bye.